A very good evening and welcome to the 11 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the Vice President of the United Arab Emirates and Prime Minister, ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah. They exchanged good wishes on the advent of Eid al Fitr, and the leaders wished Bahrain and its people many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid al Fitr, in which His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King continued health and happiness, and for His Majesty, the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pride in the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and his endeavours to consolidate national unity, stability and security in the Kingdom. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Majesty the King also received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid al-Fitr, in which His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King continued health and happiness, and for His Majesty, the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Majesty the King received a congratulatory cable on the advent of Eid al-Fitr from the National Guard Commander Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and High Authority Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa as well as the Minister of Royal Court Affairs Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. They prayed the Almighty bestow His Majesty with abundant health and happiness and the Kingdom of Bahrain continued progress and advancement. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of GCC Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid al Fitr. He wished them good health, happiness, and many happy returns, and for their countries and peoples, progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held telephone calls with King Abdullah II ibn Hussein of Jordan, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Stu Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Grand Imam of Al Asar Al Sharif, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyab, in which they exchanged congratulations on the advent of Eid al Fitr, and His Majesty received wishes of many happy returns to Bahrain and its people. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa also received cables of good wishes on the advent of Eid al Fitr from senior members of the royal family, the chairman of the Shura Council, the speaker of the Representatives Council, ministers, senior officials in the kingdom, dignitaries, members of the Representatives and Shura Councils, members of municipal councils and governors, ambassadors of the kingdom abroad, heads of accredited diplomatic missions in the kingdom, heads of societies, sports unions and clubs, as well as citizens. They all wished His Majesty the King many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, and for Bahrain and its people, progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit yesterday to the Majlis of the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King exchanged good wishes, marking the last 10 days of Ramadan. He highlighted the principles of cooperation and fraternity amongst Bahraini people under national unity and Islamic values. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain will always remain a homeland of security and stability, for people live according to the principles of tolerance, unity and a one family spirit. Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa expressed appreciation for His Majesty's visit that underlined his interest in communicating with Bahraini citizens during the holy month of Ramadan. He wished His Majesty the King good health and happiness to continue leading the reform and development process.
His Majesty the King also paid a visit yesterday evening to the majlis of the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King exchanged greetings with the attendees, marking the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity, sending them many happy returns. His Majesty highlighted the importance of promoting cohesion between Bahraini people during the blessed month of Ramadan. He noted the blessed Ramadan majlises as an example of Bahrain's heritage that should be preserved and passed on to future generations. He attached great importance to Ramadan majlises for their vital role in enhancing and disseminating values of cohesion, harmony and a one family spirit amongst Bahraini citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed sincere gratitude to His Majesty the King for visiting his Ramadan majlis, saying that the attendees were honoured by the visit.
His Majesty the King also paid a visit yesterday evening to the Majlis of BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and exchanged with him good wishes marking the last 10 days of Ramadan. His Majesty the King highlighted that Bahrain's long-standing national values and traditions are built upon the principle of pluralism. For his part, the BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed his gratitude for His Majesty's visit and highlighted his eagerness to take part in Ramadan visits across the kingdom. And His Majesty the King paid a visit yesterday evening to the Majlis of Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman al Khalifa and exchanged with him good wishes marking the last 10 days of Ramadan. For his part, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salman al Khalifa expressed his gratitude for His Majesty's visit and wished him abundant health.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received a congratulatory cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid al Fitr. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued health and happiness, and for Bahrain and its people, further progress and prosperity, and also for Bahrain, the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wishing him health and happiness, and for Bahrain, further progress and prosperity, and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received a congratulatory cable on the advent of Eid al-Fitr from the National Guard Commander Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and High Authority Chairman of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa as well as the Minister of Royal Court Affairs Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa. They praised the Almighty, they prayed the Almighty bestow His Royal Highness with abundant health and happiness and to Bahrain and continuous progress and advancement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received cables of good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Fitr from senior members of the Royal Family, the Chairman of the Shura Council, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ministers, senior officials in the Kingdom, dignitaries, members of the Representatives and Shura Councils, members of Municipal Councils and Governors, ambassadors of the Kingdom abroad, heads of accredited diplomatic missions in the Kingdom, heads of societies, sports unions and clubs, as well as citizens. They all wished His Royal Highness the Premier many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, and to Bahrain and its people, progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of GCC Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid al-Fitr. His Royal Highness wished them good health, happiness and many happy returns, and for their countries and peoples, progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received cables of good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Fitr from the National Guard Commander Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the High Authority Chairman of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, wishing His Royal Highness many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, and to the people of Bahrain, progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince received cables of good wishes on the advent of Eid al-Fitr from senior members of the Royal Family, the Chairman of the Shura Council, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ministers, senior officials in the Kingdom, dignitaries, members of the Representatives and Shura Councils, members of Municipal Councils and Governors, ambassadors of the Kingdom abroad, heads of accredited, accredited diplomatic missions in the Kingdom, heads of societies, sports unions and clubs, as well as citizens. They all wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince many happy returns and abundant health and happiness, and to Bahrain and its people, progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince exchanged cables of good wishes with the leaders of GCC, Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid al-Fitr. His Royal Highness wished them abundant health, happiness and many happy returns, and for their countries and people, advancement and prosperity. In response to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa's directives to reduce traffic congestion across the Kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Hassan bin Abdullah Khalaf, confirmed that the new Sar Southern Entrance Road from Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway has opened. The project, which comprises a new lane on Avenue 27, along with ramps entering and exiting Sheikh Isa bin Salman Highway, is expected to increase capacity by 40%, easing access to nearby residential areas and shopping malls. The minister said that the project is one part of a larger $1.2 billion master plan designed to ease traffic congestion in 11 locations. Consistent with the directives of His Royal Highness, the minister confirmed that the ministry submitted a series of projects for review by the Executive Committee, which has subsequently approved 11 urgent projects. The Sar Southern Entrance Road is one of several projects financed by the GCC Development Fund to be implemented within three to five years. The comprehensive planning process has been implemented to ensure the Kingdom's strategic road network is able to accommodate increased urban expansion. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, arrived yesterday in the Serbian capital Belgrade on an official visit on behalf of His Majesty the King to attend the inauguration ceremony of Serbia's new president, Aleksandr Vucic. 
Upon His Highness Sheikh Abdullah's arrival, he was received by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Trade, Tourism and Telecommunications, Razim Yeji, and a number of Serbian officials. An official welcoming ceremony was held for His Highness Sheikh Abdullah, where the Guards of Honour lined up to greet him and shook hands with a number of officials. His Highness is accompanied by an official delegation and a media delegation. His Highness conveyed to the Serbian President the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty the King and his wishes of progress and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah also congratulated the President, wishing him success. The Serbian President asked His Highness Sheikh Abdullah to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and his wishes of development to Bahrain and his people. He also expressed thanks and appreciation for his attendance and kind sentiments. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah took a commemorative photograph with the new Serbian president, which was followed by a speech by President Alexander. His Highness and the attendees took in cultural performances and songs performed by students in celebration of the new president's inauguration. He also took a tour of the palace, which featured historical and modern paintings that represent Serbia's old and modern history. A number of world presidents, dignitaries and invitees also participated in the inauguration ceremony. The Moon Sighting Committee met today, June 24th, corresponding to Ramadan the 29th, at the Supreme Islamic Affairs Council premises and announced that tomorrow, Sunday, will be the first day of Eid al-Fitr for the Hijri year 1438. The Council extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Royal Family and people of Bahrain, as well as all Muslims around the world. The Kingdom of Bahrain condemns in the strongest, utmost terms the evil terrorist plan which targeted the Holy Mosque, Umrah and prayer performers, affirming that this heinous terrorist act is contrary to all religious, mo moral and human values. Bahrain highly values the noble role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in providing all means of comfort to pilgrims, Umrah performers and visitors and praises the great efforts of the security forces who thwarted this cowardly terrorist plan. Meanwhile, it asserts that it has been and still is standing with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in support of its leading role to reinforce regional and international peace and security, vowing total support for whatever measure it takes to eradicate the terrorist organizations. The Kingdom of Bahrain affirms anew its unwavering stance in rejection of terrorism, calling for consolidated global cooperation to eliminate terrorism, which poses a serious threat to all world peoples without di distinction, and the need to rid the world of this dangerous epidemic, its supporters and funders. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs issued a statement today in which it also condemned in the strongest utmost terms the terrorist plan which targeted the Holy Mosque, Umrah and prayer performers, which was a flagrant violation of sacred Islamic rituals. The statement praised the Saudi security body's role in thwarting the terrorist act, hailing the role of Saudi Arabia under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in providing all means of comfort to pilgrims, Umrah performers and visitors, and praised the great efforts of the security forces who thwarted this cowardly terrorist plan.